welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Chris Evans performances. Hi, big fan. Why wouldn't you be? For this list, we're looking at the best and most iconic turns this multi-talented actor has given us so far, be they dramatic, comedic, or anywhere in between. Since we will be going in depth with his characters, there will be some spoilers. What's your favorite Chris Evans performance? Tell us in the comments below. Number 10, Mike Weiss, Puncture. Trust me, you're about to see just how ordinary I can be. People often think of Chris Evans for his more mainstream, action-heavy roles. And don't worry, we will be getting to those too. But he also has an impressive back catalog of indie features where he really gets to flex his acting chops. Enter Puncture, a biographical drama in which Evans plays lawyer Mike Weiss, who finds himself embroiled in an effort to protect hospital nurses from accidental syringe pricks and the diseases they carry. Simultaneously, Mike struggles with drug addiction and is forced to clean up his personal life if he wants to create long-lasting change. It can save more than nurses here. It can save millions of lives around the world. You know, I'm just a personal injury lawyer. Not exactly in the best place to go around saving people's lives. Though the movie itself didn't earn high marks, Evans was praised for his multi-layered performance, containing plenty of passion and bravado. You just want to win. That is all you've ever cared about. Yeah, well, at least I have the courage to lose for what's right. Number 9. Jake Weiler, Not Another Teen Movie Coming out at the beginning of an era of loads of uncreative parody movies, Not Another Teen Movie got lost in the shuffle. It's no airplane, but some have been revisiting it in recent years, if only for Evan's prime pre-fame performance. Guys, she's got glasses and a ponytail. Oh, look at that. She's got paint on her overalls. What is that? Guys, there's no way she could be prom queen. While his character and the overall plot are primarily spoofs of She's All That, Evan's portrayal of the stereotypical popular jock turned heartthrob with a heart of gold feels far-reaching and quintessential. Well, I'm the reformed cool guy who's learned the error of his ways. She's gonna forgive me for my mistakes and realize that I really love her. He nails nearly every comedic beat, be they going for dry stoicism or exaggerated melodrama. Who's that? It's my mother. You have her eyes. It was humble beginnings for Evans in his first big movie, but he more than established his funny bone and never looked back. I don't like Sundays. Oh, it's not a Sunday. It's a banana split. I don't like those either. Bye, Jake. Number eight, Andy Barber, Defending Jacob. Any idea who could have done this? Not yet. You said there was a fingerprint. Yeah, partial, no matches so far. Chris Evans' acting prowess has largely been restricted to the silver screen, but his post-MCU career has already seen him broaden his horizons in a multitude of ways. Take, for instance, Defending Jacob, a miniseries on Apple TV+, Plus, wherein Evans plays a district attorney who's thrown for a loop when his 14-year-old son is suspected of murder. Have you arrested him? Lynn, have you arrested my son? Not yet, no. But you're going to. We have no choice, given the circumstances. Do you have a warrant? We are getting it now. It's a heavy series, and certainly something that Evans' fans may not be accustomed to seeing him in but he more than holds his own against a slew of powerhouse actors and the emotionally challenging material. I wanted to tell you so many times, Laurie, I swear. Then why didn't you? It's just what I come from, it's not who I am. 17 years, Andy, you didn't trust me to understand that? I was afraid that if I said anything, it would change the way you saw me. We can't wait to see what creative acting ventures Evans will seek out next. Number seven, James Mace, Sunshine. We should split up, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Hey, you play right. Might get picked off one at a time by aliens. For those back in 2007 who knew Evans from little more than the Fantastic Four movies, Sunshine provided an alternative side of his repertoire that proved he was more than just a pretty face. Playing one of many futuristic astronauts on a mission to restart the dying sun, Evans commands every scene he's in. There is nothing, literally nothing more important than completing our mission. End of story. He's right. He's right. Of course I'm right. Is anyone here seriously considering otherwise? May I put a counter-argument? No! While his character can come off as unlikable in his staunch attitude and caustic demeanor, we ultimately come to root for him as he becomes one of the few equipped to handle the ever-escalating situation. 
He's not the leading man, and Sunshine isn't an action movie per se. But here is where we were sure he could pull off such a role in the future. We're in orbit. The computer's down. I don't know if I can get her back online. You'll have to break us out of orbit manually. The only way to do that is separate the payload. Do you get it, Kappa? Number six, Frank Adler, Gifted. It's gonna be fun. You can meet kids today, you can borrow money from the rest of your life. There's something about Chris Evans that just screams complete earnestness in everything he does, which is partly what made him perfect for a later entry. But he also has a knack for elevating human interest stories far past anyone's expectations. She doesn't know how to be a kid. Two nights ago, she told me that even if Germany bails out the Euro, there could still be a worldwide depression. I was staring at the ceiling for three hours. In Gifted, Evans plays Frank, a man who comes to care for his seven-year-old niece Mary after her mother passes away. What follows is a hard-fought custody battle between Frank and his own mother Evelyn, especially in light of Mary's mathematical genius. Diane wanted Mary to be a kid. She wanted her to have a life. Predictably, Gifted is the kind of movie that'll make you laugh and cry in equal measure. But it's Evan's unbeatable chemistry with his young co-star McKenna Grace that really makes it memorable. Why did you leave me there? Because I thought I was bad for you. And then it dawned on me, if Mary is this amazing, smart, sweet human being, then I must be doing something right. Number five, Johnny Storm, AKA the Human Torch, the Fantastic Four franchise. This is the part that put Chris Evans on the map. Now picture that, but everywhere. While the Fantastic Four movies he was in, and the ones he wasn't come to think of it, weren't anything to write home about, Evans shined as the literal hothead Johnny Storm. He easily brought the energy and gusto the character required, making him the standout and the thing we most look forward to when re-watching them. Where are your ears? Evans has stated that he wouldn't be opposed to reprising his role in the MCU. While his other MCU role might make things more than a little confusing, we can't exactly say no given the proven work he put in with just two feature films. To quote a friend of mine, it's clobbering time. <gasps> Number four, Lucas Lee, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. The only thing keeping me and her apart is the two minutes it's gonna take to kick your ass. Can I have your, can I have your autograph, please? What's up? How's life? He seems nice. Talk about a scene-stealing performance, especially seeing as Evans is only actually in one scene. But boy, what a scene it is. Combine Evans' characters in Snowpiercer and Fantastic Four, and you might get something akin to Lucas Lee, an edgy movie star slash skateboarder with a big ego. Looks like you're seeing double. <laughs> He's good, right? Sometimes I let him do the wide shots when I feel like getting Blaze back in my Winnie. Evans' cadence and line delivery is way, way over the top, but in a movie that excels in being over the top, he fits right in. Seriously, we don't think Chris Evans has ever been funnier. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. <sighs> hilarious. And judging by the amount of continual laughs this scene gives us, it's hard to imagine him ever topping it. But again, seeing how versatile he can be with absurdist comedy, we know it's possible. You really don't know about the League? Um. The seven evil exes coming to kill you? Controlling the future of Ramona's love life? No. Oh, well, hey, listen, man, don't worry about it. Really? Yeah, let's go get a beer. Let's go. Hey. Boom! <laughs> Number three, Hugh Ransom Drysdale, Knives Out. Hi, right, what is this? What's this arrangement? Mr. Drysdale, CSI KFC? More than any other movie on this list, Knives Out has perhaps the best ensemble cast. With that many heavy hitters giving top-notch satirical performances, it's hard for anyone to stand out. But standout Chris Evans does as the hilariously despicable Ransom. Matter of fact, oh God, God, Ransom. eat shit. No, no, How's that? Shit. Fact. Do not use that word in front of my son. Eat shit. If I eat shit. You eat shit. I will slap that smug smile. Right Definitely right eat right right shit. Whether it's cussing out his entire family or inspiring a whole line of fall fashion, Ransom never fails to make an impression. 
However, what most floored us in this comedic whodunit was the fact that Ransom, well, done it, sort of, giving us something we hadn't yet seen. Chris Evans as an outright villain. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up with that Kentucky Fried Foghorn Leghorn drawl! While Evans will always be remembered for his more heroic turns, it was clear that he had fun being dastardly. And we had just as much fun watching. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta do this more often. Number two, Curtis Everett, Snowpiercer. All past revolutions have failed because they couldn't take the engine. What are you saying? This time we take the engine. Snowpiercer is a movie jam-packed with themes, symbolism, and socio-economic commentary, so you know few characters are going to come across as one note and plain. Thankfully, Evans was more than up to the task of portraying a morally complex protagonist with a checkered past. Earth? What was it like? I don't remember. Why? I don't want to remember anything before I met Gilliam. Sure, it was a foregone conclusion that Evans could fit the part of rebellion leader slash total badass, but Curtis's monologue toward the tail end of things really showed that he could handle the kind of emotional nuance needed to tie things up in a wonderfully unsettling way. You know what I hate about myself? I know what people taste like. Snowpiercer throws a lot of great curveballs over its two-hour runtime, but one thing we saw coming was how good Evans would be at handling them. Curtis, everyone has their preordained position, and everyone is in their place except you. That's what people in the best place say to people in the worst place. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jake Jensen, The Losers. Chris Evans really does own the comic book movie scene, huh? I'm warning you. I am a lethal killing machine. It was a secret government experiment. They did stuff to me. Spooky stuff. Anal stuff. Colin Shay, what's your number? Evans feels tailor-made to play a lead in a rom-com. That girl doesn't exist. If she did, I'd be sleeping with her. And what kind of guy cares about how many people you slept with anyway? Decent guys. Robert Mr. Freezy Prongy, the Iceman. An unhinged Chris Evans works surprisingly well here. No more stakeouts. I can do that anyway. I don't have any friends, so it makes it easy. I only feel alone around other people. Couldn't be truer. Nick Vaughn, Before We Go. Chris Evans' directorial debut has a handful of memorable moments. You're gonna take all your money. You're probably gonna get punched in the face. But, uh, stay with her. You're gonna need her a lot more than she needs you. Ryan Cellular. This forgotten action thriller previewed good things to come for Evans. <laughs> I am in deep shit! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, The Marvel Cinematic Universe Avengers! Assemble. No! Could it really have been anything else? Even though he'd already played a memorable Marvel character before, Chris Evans' role as Captain America over the course of eight years cemented his status as a movie star legend. What made you so special? Nothing. I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. We were pleasantly surprised with the outcome of the first Avenger, but it seemed our affinity for his turn as the Star Spangled Hero only increased with every outing of his. And that was in direct correlation with his furthered stranglehold on the character. What if this panel sends us somewhere we don't think we should go? What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? We may not be perfect, but the safest hands are still our own. He perfectly embodies the ideals of Steve Rogers, to the point that it's hard to see anyone else in the role. We're sure his career will continue to branch out for years to come. But these are the movies he will be forever synonymous with. That is America's ass. <sighs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.